Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 1. Last time, we took out the Smoky Prague, got plenty of bomb rocks, and were able to finally blow things up a little bit. So today we're headed back to the Distant Spring, hopefully going to finish this area. Beat it off completely. If you like beating it off completely, consider liking the video, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff. We're actually going to go back and do a little more work with Bomb Rocks, if we remember correctly. There's still a pretty nasty amount of critters that are impeding our progress to get to the one ship part that I've been trying to get multiple times, but I failed because I was just trying to brute force it. And it turns out that you can't. So, instead, I'm going to actually attempt to be practical. Stop it. And do it the right way. As all of them are intended. We're going to go over here again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and whistle off my bomb rock yellows. I'm only using these guys in this capacity at first because I want them to... Rage war and destruction upon my enemies. I don't really have the patience to go and try to fight all those spotty bull bears with just reds. I know that I could, but this is more fun and visually more captivating to explosively murder your enemies. So, you know, I don't really feel like I've done my due diligence in showing abject murder of digital creatures the way I should. So we're gonna do that today. And then hopefully, with the time remaining, I'm going to use my yellows as you need to grab that ship part in this day on 17. And then on 18, my goal is to try to grab the other two parts, which are a little bit of a puzzle to get. And I don't mean that as a joke, like you actually do have to kind of perform a little bit of a puzzle. All right, so let's go ahead and boop boop. Go ahead and do this. And whoop, got him. Let's go ahead and do this. A little bit of a kamikaze. Ah, got him. And one more should do it. Look at those creepy red eyes. It's completely whiffing on trying to take our yellow. That's actually really inconvenient that I killed him there. Oops. But it looks like three bomb rocks should do it. Not trying to kill this baby bull borb though. That's a waste. Cool. Great, guys. Well done. Trying to aim for the main prize this time. There we go. And because they are approaching me, that's fine. Your sacrifice is warranted. Oh, that missed. That's not good. I'm actually just. Eh, you don't need to do that. Alright. Well, okay. Stop. <laughs> You don't have to do that. I was just going to sacrifice it, but you know. I still have the bomb rock, so I might as well use them. Yeah, I, I'm... At this point, I... I've completely... You know, I'm not phoning it in or anything. Ooh, that one... How did you survive that? We completely whiffed. Can you hit it this time? Hit it and quit it? Boop! There it is. Alright. So here's what I'm going to do. I don't really need yellows in a large capacity, but I do have a problem that the corpse of this bull bear is in my way. So I'm going to use my reds actually, because I did a pretty good job of getting my reds murdered the last time. And we're just going to have them kind of clean house here for a moment. And then we'll use the rest of the day. And I'm going to use this term carefully, attempt to grab that ship part, which, as we all saw, I did a really poor job of last time. So, are you kidding me? Get your act together. All right. So I should have enough to carry the bull bear back, the big one. Oh, it's so creepy. Look at his eye. Ugh. It's like the de demonic possessed or something like that. Okay. So I don't even need as many as I grabbed. And this is just a way to quickly repopulate my reds. This way, I said that I was going to spend a day 
going and building them up. I'm not going to do that anymore. Now I don't need to. As you can see, that's a pretty substantial amount. And after this episode, you don't really need to do much with yellows. The final area of the game does have some puzzles. Spoilers, there is a final area of the game. Uh, it does have some puzzles to it, but not in the sense that you would really be so bothered that you'd need to do that. Oh, I thought that was... I thought it was alive for a second. I was like, oh no, it's reanimated. Okay, that's fine. So, and some reds got lost along the way. Weird how that never happens. Okay, so let's try to... Oh, I hate doing this. Um, I think last time I threw them down here, and that worked out okay. They can kind of build the, build the stick and then climb the shaft for me. See if they'll do that. I don't remember if this is how I did this at all. If they'll climb it and they'll do what I needed to do or if they're going to be stupid. I feel like I need them to be up on this ledge for me. Y'all could do that. Okay, very good. So here we go. And they're, they're just so flimsy. Like when you toss them and stuff and then they just don't... Alright. I think this should work. I don't remember how many Pikmin I need to do this. But that is as many as I have currently. So I'm going to bring it around town here. Go back up. And I think the frustrating part is that when you're on this ledge with them, they will very easily fall. Oh, we found it again. The UV lamp. The only problem with this handheld light is that it can be too bright. I don't care. Wear your sun visor. Wear your sun block. All right. So I'm going to very carefully just kind of nudge my Pikmin. Mm -mm, there you go. Okay. So I think this should work. I was in the process of doing this the one time, but I can't. I thought this would work. Maybe I'm just not far enough away. I remember I saw this technique where it was like, I watched a speedrunner do it. Where they like would turn, or, turn away and then toss. Eh, I got one up there. Okay, so this is going to be a process. <laughs> How far away do I need to be? And also, how many does this take? Ten. So it's not many. I also just don't really have control over the ones that are up here. Uh, okay. Is that enough? Did I do it? <gasps> Viewers, I've done it. Okay. So that wasn't quite as painful as I was expecting it to be. Also, this yellow just completely face plants. <laughs> also, they just completely dropped it. <laughs> hey, guys. There's this really important shit part that is crucial to our survival. And they're just going to face plant on the ground. Oh my gosh, you guys are so stupid. You're, you're yellow Pikmin. Electricity is kind of your jimmy jam. Figure it out. Actually, looks like I might have time to... Maybe head over to the other part. I'll do the less complicated of the two. You can hear my Pikmin already getting distracted. Yeah. This is one of those situations where I feel like I probably could have finished this area maybe a day or two earlier, but, you know, that would involve me actually playing the game as Miyamoto intended. Alright, so we don't really need any of those boys anymore. I feel pretty comfortable now with all my blues. I actually do need to rampage a little bit because there are some really stupid... Water dumples and whatever those other aquatic thing. I'm not going to have probably time to get the piece back, but I could at least, you know, get a head start on it. I need to put these reds back, though, because I can't get enough blues. Can't get enough of those blue box blues. All right, there we go. Third to last piece in this area. The UV lamp. Handy light is great for tanning. Don't do that. But it doesn't seem to have any relation to the dolphin's flight capabilities. I doubt that it will affect my escape. All right. So that one, I guess, is more cosmetic. Um, and then, obviously, it's telling you that without the final two parts in this area, you're not going to be doing heckin' anything and getting to the final area. So I find it interesting that you could essentially just end the game now if you wanted to. I think you, you would get the good ending. There's obviously a bad ending, a good ending, and then the best ending. What is this chrono trigger? With three endings, jeez. All right, so that is good. We don't need any of the reds left. 
I think I made 40 reds out of that. Pretty substantial. We can put our yellows back. This is a bit of a time waste. Just because I didn't really plan any of this. I'm just kind of doing it by the old seat of the pants. So we say in the business. But now I can get more of my blues. It's end game, so I'm feeling a bit reckless. 70 blues should... Okay, there's one Pikmin of some other sort around. I don't care. All right. So... Actually, you know what? Let's go back this way. I didn't really show off this part of the distant spring yet because... I forgot. So... Just ignore that for a moment. There's a whole other area. This is actually kind of more remarkable. I should have killed that. Ooh, that might be a problem. Anyway, that is day 18's problem. All right, so this is a bit of a puzzle. We'll do this one in a moment, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. What I am worried about here is I want to kill these water dumples because I have... I can't see. Um, I have a part that I'm going to be eventually... Oh my gosh. And I'm going to eventually be dragging through here. And I know for a fact this is going to be really frustrating if I have to deal with these stupid things. Well, I don't now because I killed all of them. Stop it. No spoils of war. I only lost two. And there's the tadpoles. They are pretty harmless. Um, can I throw my Pikmin up here? I need to do this. All right, so I need blues. Probably not this many. Um... And we're just going to hang out up here. Use the old spooty spout. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that the whole bump into method is probably going to save the day. I have 20. I think 20 blues should probably get this done. It's more than enough, actually. All right. So we'll use that to carry that part back. And we're going to... That'll probably be the end of this. But I'm going to see if I can surround it with more Pikmin because it's taking forever. The Ionium Jet number two. Easy on the eyes, but its fuel efficiency is easy on the budget. Pretty much how my friends describe me. So, you know, the same thing. I just love how easily your blue Pikmin, really without any fanfare, just get completely distracted. I don't know if we're going to have time to get this all the way back. Would love you to. Can I... I the game should let you do double the amount, but I don't think it does. Alright. You know what? While we're waiting, we're gonna kill a puffy blowhog. Sometimes you gotta murder when you're just waiting in line. As you can see, the blue Pikmin, clearly not very ferocious in their own right, but they're gonna get the job done. And unfortunately, unlike future iterations of Pikmin, we can't use the rush horn to no, we don't need any of that. Viewers, you see how far I've come? I don't even worry about this. I'm not even worried about it. Oh, these boys are in for a whoop in here. Oh yeah, you're how dare you? Get out of here. You thought you were you thought you were being slick, didn't you? Now you're dead. I'm not even gonna worry about you. I'm not even gonna carry your corpse back. I don't even care about you. Alright. So it looks like we're gonna get this part. Was not planning to do that in this episode, but for some reason, it happened this way. And then we'll use the entirety of day 18, I guess, or as much of it as I need to, to grab the final part of the Distant Spring. Viewers, can you believe how easy this is when you actually do it how the game intends you to? Amazing. And they just, of course, take the most awkward path to the ship. It's looking pretty good though, it's almost complete. The ads for these jets boast that with excellent mileage, it's easy on the family budget. Keep your spouse smiling and propel you to a happy home life. Happy spouse, happy house, happy man, happy clan. One more ship part to increase the capabilities. All right, and that's actually all the Pikmin. Oops, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to sunset because we are done. No countdown today because we completely nailed that. That's what I like to call peak performance. Well done. 17 days since impact. When I see the Pikmin engage in fierce battle with other creatures, I often grow uneasy wondering why they never attack me. Because we're sweet. Could it be that they actually view me as a parental figure? 
A strange but disturbing thought. Captain Olimar, you already have children. Stop trying to embrace the weird carrot kids of this planet. We've got enough reds and blues that I feel pretty confident that, uh, probably not going to need that grow day. I thought that I would, but I don't foresee, um, it being a problem. I thought this area was going to be more complicated than it was. And maybe it, in most normal circumstances it is, but I had a pretty decent time with it. So I'm not worried, but now we're going to do a little bit of a puzzle. And this probably won't take them the entirety of the day. I don't even need all my Pikmin. But one thing I have not shown off specifically in this Let's Play is the use of candy pop buds. There's a red one right there. And as you saw over in that aquatic area, well, you know, we can... Let's get this going. As you saw over in that aquatic area, there was a yellow one and a blue one, which are a bit of a transformation, a little metamorphosis puzzle. So... Why is it playing this, the scary, there's creepy monsters music? I basically murdered everything in this area. I know that there's a spotty bull bear, but we're not going to worry about that. We'll let you wake up and see that your entire family has been murdered. Also noticed, there are bomb rocks over here that I completely neglected. So, oops, all right. So here's this puzzle. I think this is the intent of this one. You're going to come over here and you're going to throw your blue Pikmin up onto this. If you can make it into the, if you can make it into the candy pop bud from here, I don't know, but I'm just going to throw all my blue Pikmin because I got the time to do it. I probably could have gotten all three parts yesterday if I was being efficient, but hey, that's not the name of the game. Quality over quantity. So go ahead and toss your blues into the candy pot bud. I don't know how many you can get at a time. But as you're seeing here, the blues will be transformed into yellows. It might be 10 at a time. And I don't know if this is infinite or not. I'm assuming that this candy pot bud has to at least give you yellows in the amount to carry the thing that's over there up top. I imagine that this is a puzzle that, you know, I did not mean to start picking yellows. Um, this is a puzzle that, upon encountering this, young D-Mike probably would have been baffled. What do I do? Oh my gosh, stop it. Trying to throw blues into this thing. There we go. Just get in there. I'm just very nonchalant about all this now because I... I'm so close to the end of this game, and I just want to get it done. It's kind of crazy, though. Um, this game is very short. I mean, day 18, I'm doing two days per episode. There's a good chance that this game is wrapped up by day 20, which would mean, you know, 10-ish episodes, 11. I think I did the one episode that just had day one on it. And then something new. I mean, like, holy moly. Oh, there's more. Oh, I didn't. Oh, it, oh, it does go away after a while. Okay. So I have maxed it out. Let's get the remaining. Oops. Sorry about that. Sorry, fellas. You are the guinea pigs. All right. So here's what you're going to do. With your yellow Pikmin, which this time around, you're not going to murder them. You're going to throw your yellows onto the beach. We're going to storm the beaches. Put them all over here. And you can put your blues here, too, as well. Like, obviously, they're immune to the damages of water. And then we're going to whistle our yellows over here. And this is the whole reason why you need this is because you can't uh, throw blue Pikmin that high. So yellow Pikmin are the name of the game here. This is very pointless. I don't know why. Okay, great. Um, I don't think I can get any higher than that. Or can I? I know I'm doing this correctly, I think, but... Just a matter of like, there we go. Okay, I was just being a ding dong. I don't know how many yellows this takes, but you just need as many as, oh, it was 20. Okay, so that's way too many overkill. That's fine. And so here, obviously, uh, we have too many, but we found the Kronos reactor, the Kronos trigger reactor using strange new technology. 
Strange. This machine is able to warp the space-time continuum. Turn it into energy. Constantly amazed at how many mysteries are locked inside the parts of my ship. Okay. So obviously, using your yellow Pikmin to carry this thing, they would all die. Why? Because water. Duh. So, um, go ahead and whistle off your, your yellows. And this is the puzzle that they thought was really clever. Is that you can turn your yellows back into blues. Wow. Isn't it amazing? But... Yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. It's not a bad puzzle, I guess, in the truest sense of the word. Um, but yeah, you just turn your yellows back into blues and uh, have a grand time. I think if you throw your blues, it won't even it won't even allow them to be transformed or whatever. Well, maybe it does. I mean, I, I mean, at this point, I'm just so indifferent. I'm willing to sacrifice my Pikmin. Yeah, and there you go. If you hit the button, you can do, uh, you can switch which Pikmin you have. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. This is the final piece of this area, as you can see. And it's been a bit of a bumpy ride. I feel like I've, I've gotten a lot better. And, um, you know, I wasn't so much of a, a dingus when it came to getting these final parts. Oops. I like bumped into it and it gave me more, that's weird. I don't know if that was intentional or not. I think I had 50 yellows, or yeah, 50 yellows when I, or blue, I can't talk. 50 blues when I started and now I don't, obviously, so. All right, boys. Time to do the finale here, Wee. Oh, I hate that sound. Sounds like one of those old um, I think it's called Dot Matrix. It's before my time, of course. One of those weird printers. Hopefully this will be one of the last times we have to hear that disgusting splashing sound. Ugh, hate it. But look at this. The final part. Gonna have it probably just after noon. As my Pikmin get distracted. Again. What's nice is that in... Future iterations, they don't do this. And the Pikmin just had to do a nice little swing by of that bull bear. They're like, you know what? Let's just see what he's doing. Let's just, you know, make this more complicated than it needs to be. That'll be it. We are almost done. I've never fully completed this game. So, and that's actually been the case for quite a few of these games that I've actually never beaten them off completely, so. I don't know if I've done like a full walk around of this. Um, as you can see, if you go over here, the uh, smoky prog egg is gone. And like I said before, you don't have to actually destroy that egg. Not required. Or you, I mean, you don't have to do anything with it. You blow the egg up. No smoky prog fight. So, there you go. We, yeah, we did it. Capitalism. Kronos reactor. This reactor changes permutations in the space-time continuum. Basically, it's like a big rubber band. Recover 29 of 30 parts, increasing the capabilities. All right. We did the plot. All right. You can see all the parts that we've gathered so far. And then the game just dumps you back into where you were. So yeah, just one little quick jaunt. Yeah, I never really like... I don't know. This area, when when I played it the first time, or even just recently, feels so much bigger than it really actually is. And I could have probably done better if I would have had any semblance of the geography of this area, which I didn't, so. Go figure. Okay, I thought I had 47 blues. Anyway, that's it. You know, nothing else left to do. Let's go ahead and go to sunset. One final time in the distant spring. How's that feel? Good? We did it! Yay! 18 days since impact. At last, but a single part remains. Since I've recovered 29 of the missing parts, the dolphin's power near capacity. In the four steps below, I see a region where the final part must lie. The final trial. And obviously, whatever you have in turn... Wait, what? Oh, that's weird. I don't know why it's... Dropping off my yellow so heavily. 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. We only got one more left to do. We finished this one ahead of schedule. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Next time, there's only one part in this area in the final trial. And then we will be done with Pikmin. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 1. And I'll see you next time for the final trial. Bye.